similar to the previous video in the video number 18 we have to solve linear equation but in this case it's three variables now you can see x y and z or you can have p q r it depends a b c is the same thing but please make sure it should be proper three variables it may not be three variables every way but at least in one if it's three variable then you must know it's a three variable equation now over here there is no r that means r is zero now again we'll uh, see the direct method it's through calculator all you need to do is mode phi now you might have guessed it already it's number two so option number two gives you three variables system of equations now you need to just type in all the coefficients that is two three and minus one x y and z must be all together and the constants must be in the right side of equal to so it'll be zero over here then again one minus two and minus four and fourteen lastly three one minus eight and seventeen now over here x value is 4 y is minus 3 and z is minus 1 so this is it it's very simple and straightforward but there are some cases where you will get over here infinitely many solutions and no solution and in some cases for infinitely many solutions they may not be the same now why because see now we are dealing with a plane see there are three dimensions if it was two variables it would be a line isn't it x and y it's a line now we are dealing with three dimension that is a plane you know 3d so now these these intersect in a line so there will be infinitely many solution but let's see how to deduce these directly since over your mcqs are there you will know which options now if you solve this for example i'll solve this in the calculator mod by 2 you will get 1 minus 2 and 1 and 8 2 1 minus 1 0 and lastly 3 minus 6 3 and 24 you will get infinitely many solutions because in this calculator but you if you do a do it in a physical calculator you'll get a math error even for this and for this no solution also won't be appearing it'll be a math error so what do you do then simplify these equations simplify you should at least try to match see now when i look at these i can assume see this and this looks similar let me solve them up if i solve them try to make the first variable equal to this all i need to do is divide it by three over here let me divide this by three this by three this by three and this by three i did not use this equation why because it was a zero you know and it's simplified so leave this off if I divide all these by 3, the answer would remain to be a minus 2b plus c equals 8. And this equation is just same as this equation. Can you see? So these both are same. That means they, they are the same thing. They are the same equation. Just it's a multiple of 3. So you can directly go with infinitely many. Whereas over here, there is no solution. So do the same thing. Try to get two of these uh, reduced to the same form. Now, I wouldn't choose this one particularly because, you know, it's all plus, 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 and it is much different to these two. Rather, I would choose this or this because these both are much similar and I can reduce this one easily to the up above equation. I can make this two, right? Or I can just multiply the above one. It's up to you. I can multiply this throughout by 2 or I can divide it. It's up to you. I'll, now I'll just multiply all the terms by 2. If I multiply it by 2, I'm going to get, I'll write it up over here, 4x minus 8y minus 2z equals 20. Now let's compare these both. So this is also same. 4x minus 8y minus 2z, but the constant is different. Now, if you rewind, go back to the previous video, video number 17, the topic number 17. I have told you, if the variables are same and only the constant is different, that means it's in a different level and they will never touch each other. In this case, these both planes 
are same you know the slope everything is same just that they are all together on a different level now imagine if it's a 3d diagram like this now this plane is somewhere over here okay that is very bad but anyways uh let me try to do th this is the plane you can just see one line the next plane will be somewhere over here so it's up above they will never touch and therefore there will be no solutions why because only the constants were different all the variables were same now over here in this case you need to do many steps you know you need to solve for many steps but there's one more method you can easily come to know whether it is no solution or infinitely solution without solving it entirely now i will try to match these both over here let me just uh it's not possible to match any see if i multiply this by 2 i'm going to get 2p minus 12q plus 8r equals 4 and this over here let it be as it is and even if i multiply 2 over here it's not going to help me it'll be 2p minus 4q equals 10. now what you can understand is the three variables are not same anywhere and this co constant is not different so if you simplify this eventually you will come to know if you delete some terms it will be infinitely many solution because you just cannot simplify this further now i mean you can't simplify this further but here all these terms vary so you can conclude that since it is not no solution it will be an infinitely many solution so why because if it's a no solution problem say there is one more over here try try simplifying the variables now over here you must get the same variables on one side and only this will be different so how can you easily solve it in your exam the best way would be solve it in the calculator first sorry over here if you get answers like this say for example i'll do this more phi 2 I will solve it. It's 1, 1, 1, and 3. Over here, 13. There is no y, so it's 0 and 2 and 2. There's minus 1, 0 again, minus 5, and minus 5. Now I'm getting answers 0, 2, and z value is 1. So I'm getting answer. It's over. But if I had solved this, I'll get a math error. We have tried it before. Now, in such cases, try to check for no solution first. Try to simplify or see the equations other variables same like over here this all the two at least two equations over here have the same variable only this constant is changed it's a no solution same way over here where there was a no solution all the variables were same when when i had multiplied by two the four the three variables were same only the constants were different it's a no solution otherwise if you get two uh, otherwise it's infinitely many solution or if you get two same equations it's infinitely many solution so this is the trick which you can save time and easily solve it because otherwise i'm sure in the classes throughout the term you have studied the solving system of equation in three variable it's a lengthy method you need to uh, equate these two equations simplify values and then do it again it takes a lot of time but what I just now told you will help you to save time and you can just do it in maybe a couple of minutes.